Hello everybody, it's Lightlip42 and today we're going to be looking at Universe Sandbox 2. The current build is Alpha 11.3 and we're just going to be taking a quick look at it. So, as you can see, there's already a lot of improvements from Universe Sandbox 1. The UI is much cleaner, it's less bulky, and everything's really more organized. Uh, these are the settings, as you'd expect. Um, displacement mapping, so the... There's bump mapping now, and I'll show you a little thing about that. Um, all this stuff, multi-core, yep, so that's just my settings if you just want to look at them. We close that. Now, there's been a lot of graphical improvements as well, so if we zoom in on the sun, for instance, um, it actually has a moving surface. Um, it's not just a 2D texture like Universe Sandbox 1, as you can see, the there's bubbles on the sun. Um, there is sunspots and solar flares right there. Um, they disappear, they come and go. Um, zoom out. If we go to Earth, uh, the plants now have atmospheres. So they're not just 2D textures on a ball. Um, uh, if you use Universe Sandbox 1, you know that sometimes you see like, what's the word, little triangles sticking out on the planets. It wouldn't be really a smooth, round sphere. Well, now that's mostly fixed, and the Earth is pretty much round, and most, most of the other planets are pretty much round as well. Um, Earth actually currently has a climate model, so if you take it away from the sun, it will freeze up. And if you pull it in, all the ice caps will melt and the sea level will rise. Um, another major improvement is collisions. So if we create, say we want Earth and Mars. Here's a collision for Earth and Mars, as you can see. It's a lot... What's the word I'm looking for? better. I mean, th there's actually effects on the plants now. They don't just merge together like Universe Sandbox 1 did. Um, the planet will actually heat up on impact, so as you can see, the Earth is now a ball of molten lava. Um, we can, you can create your own collisions here, body A, body B, and what happens. So if we want to like slow that down, say the Earth and Moon colliding, that's what it would look like. Um, we can do this for other plants, not just Earth. So we can have like, say, what's where's one? Uh, here we go. Neptune and Earth. So this is what it would look like if Earth slammed into Neptune. Of course, some um, the gas giants are still going to be worked on. Um, the I think the next patch, Alpha 12, is going to be focused on collisions. So once Alpha 12 comes out, I'll definitely do a video on the improvements and collisions. Um, so let's look at another another simulation. Uh, let's look at galaxies. Let me find a galaxy one. Galaxy collision high. So this is a galaxy simulation. As you can see, it looks a lot better than Universe Sandbox 1. Um, now there's still a lot of things to work on in the simulation. Um, if you look at it, once they collide, um, you'll see actually like large pieces and clumps fly out, which is... Uh, yeah, it still needs work. And I'm pretty sure galaxies are low priority right now, working on um, the main things like planets and moons and the gravity dynamics of those is probably more important than galaxies right now. Um, you currently cannot really make galaxies. I mean, I might be wrong, but I don't think you can really make galaxies yet. They're just a ball of stars. You can't make like spiral galaxies. Um, as you, yeah, so just pieces break off. It's not really individual stars or like stars being turned out it's it's more of just it looks like gas and balls of gas which isn't really what it would look like so they definitely need to work on um galaxies a bit more but uh, i'm pretty sure it is low priority 
Um, you can definitely stress the simulation out. A bunch of collapsing moons together. See what happens. Now the simulation does get really laggy once you have a lot of things colliding at once. So even on my PC, you probably don't want to stress out your simulation a lot. Uh, as you can see, the collisions actually increase the rotation of the planet and where it moves and all that good stuff, which is really cool. And I really like that feature. Uh, definitely a lot different than Universe Sandbox uh, 1 was. So I really love that feature. Uh, what else? I made a little solar system right here. Oh yes, you can now save and load simulations now. Uh, you can do that in some of the previous alphas. So that's really cool. You can make all the systems you want. I think it's on sale on, I mean, I think it's for sale on Steam. Um, I was in the closed uh, alpha group, but now I think Dan has released it to the public. As you can see, you, you saw so the large flare pouring up from this uh, red dwarf. There's random planet generation now. So you can just add random planets, so a random exoplanet. Uh, you can just add it in real time and see what happens. Uh, there is some bugs with the simulation as you you saw right there. This planet's not really orbiting at all. It's just being stationary. Uh, that does happen and it's one of the bugs. Um, yeah, that needs to be fixed. So, now the climate simulation is not just for Earth planets, it's for I think any planet with water. Yeah, this is what happens. Uh, it's too far from the sun. It's not warm enough as you... It's 254 degrees Celsius. Wow, this is really cold. Mars has a blue atmosphere. I, I don't actually know why this happened. I did not save Mars with a blue atmosphere, but for some reason it now has one. I don't understand why. But, yeah. So that was just a quick look at some of the things Universe Sandbox offers. Um, here I'll just show you the full climate simulation. See ice caps starting to move, ice moving from the poles, ice caps actually forming, and going back summer, ice caps coming back. So that's just a simple climate simulation. Uh, we can actually mess with it. I'll show you what happens if we move Earth more outwards. Let's just increase the eccentricity. So there we go. Let me increase the speed. And you can see the Earth starts getting very large ice caps very soon. North Pole's South Pole. It's all just. The Earth's just basically going to turn into a gigantic snowball. And you can see there that when it zoomed near the sun, you can see like all the oceans evaporated, the earth turns brown. That, that's really cool. See lights also disappear? Should, oh, they don't. I thought they would. I don't think humans could survive that amount of heat. At least not on the surface. But there you go, it's just a quick look at Universe Sandbox 2 in its current state. Um, I will definitely do a follow up video when Alpha 12 comes out on the new simul uh, the new collision system and some of the new features that are coming out with Alpha 12. So definitely look forward to that. And I'll see you guys later. I am working on the Space Engine video right now. It's about 20% done currently. Uh, if you guys watch my uh, Serenity video, I'm going to be remaking that with Space Engine 0 0.971 so look forward to that, that should be coming out I guess a week but don't keep your hopes up, I mean it's probably going to come out in one or two weeks because it's going to take a while to find all those nice locations and editing all that stuff together so I'll probably expect it in one or two weeks I'll give you updates on my Google Plus if you guys follow me or my Twitter uh, so yeah, that's about it for today. I'll see you guys later. Peace.